Everybody kidnapped, but I was taking pictures of the state. Even though probably people up there can see me, it's fine. It's 100% fine. Just check out this view real quick before I go snap some some pics. I'll insert them here. I'm pretty sure all the people in the State Farm building were watching me, but that's fine. Probably look like a complete psychopath, but I got a really great selection. It also smells like overcooked ramen noodles. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what it smells like. Wow, look at that sun, just giving me all the angles. My outfit of the day is not that great. I'm wearing literally all oversized clothing, like oversized sweater, oversized jeans. None of my clothes fit me. Like this is my dad's sweater, but it's Tommy Hilfiger and I thought it was really dope. So I put it on. I didn't have anybody to take my pictures today, so I had to use self-timer, which I'm pretty good at using a self-timer. My mom's not freaking out because I left for quite a while because sunset was at 7.30. As you can see, the sun is going down. And that's golden hour and I didn't want to miss golden hour because golden hour is when you take the best pics. Love that. Hi guys, I just wanted to give you really quickly some self-timer tips in case you know you don't have a photographer or you don't have friends around but you're in a really cool location and you want to take some good pictures. Um, I'll give you these tips and hopefully they'll help you. So so on iPhone, there are two different options. You can either have a three-second timer or a three-second timer or a ten-second timer. I personally like the three-second timer because in three seconds, it's a lot of time. Ten seconds is way too long, in my opinion, unless you're trying to like hit the button and go really, really far back. Three seconds is like plenty of time for to pose and just wait for the camera to take the picture. Next, I'm going to talk about posing. So if you know how to pose, it really does change the way your pictures look and the variety. So it really doesn't matter if you have a photographer, a self-timer, a friend. If you don't know how to pose, your pictures aren't going to be that great. It makes your Instagram look, you know, not so like the same. You want it really different. So if you know how to pose, it really does change the game of your Instagram. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about like fashion and outfits. The first thing that people look at in your Instagram post is your fashion, what you're wearing in the picture because um, outfits and fashion is such a key component of an Instagram post or a Snapchat post or a Twitter post. Your fashion is one of the most important things. I can't emphasize that enough. The four key components of an Instagram post, in my opinion, is the fashion, the background, the editing, and the caption. Uh, these four components come together to make a really bomb picture or a really poor picture. So I would recommend going to Pinterest, getting like outfit ideas, inspiration. Thrifting is a great way to get some really good iconic pieces uh, for really, really cheap. Next, I'm going to talk about angles. So, I think it's really important to either, number one, if you're doing self-timer, have a tripod. 
or your maybe your bag or take advantage of the things around you if you can if you see a wall and your phone against it leaning is so important if you're leaning it straight up you're obviously only going to get like this in the picture you lean it this way you're gonna get that 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 and so on so just pay attention to your angles and how far you know you're leaning it back or leaning it up the thing is taking your pictures vertically or horizontally i think all instagram pictures should be taken vertically because instagram just works like that they post your pictures this way i mean you can turn them this way but if you take a horizontal picture and you want the whole picture to be in it instagram's going to chop off some of your picture so i recommend taking all your pictures vertically because it makes the most sense and your most of your picture is going to get in the uh the little like frame instagram has set up also use things around you like i said if you see a wall lean your phone against the wall if you see like a like a concrete pillar use that you can either, even use that as like a prop like you can sit on it you can pose against it you know like use things around you if you see like a vine covered wall that's really pretty you could use that for your advantage i actually in this picture right here i used this blanket and i used the uh vines in my backyard which i thought were disgusting but made a really really cute instagram background and my last tip is know how to edit know what apps to use know what um pictures and colors to use my top three editing slash picture taking apps is VSCO, Fuji, and Lightroom. My favorite one is VSCO. People always make fun of me for using VSCO. But honestly, it's a really great beginner app. It gives you a ton of different presets, a uh, ton of different options. And then you can go into this like editing room and you can you know change exposure, contrast. One thing that people never pay attention to that's super, super important is your white balance. A uh, white balance changes like there's such a glare on my phone, but changes like your color of your picture, like how blue, how yellow it is. App, it's not an editing app, but it is a picture taking app. So let's say I take a picture and it's pretty basic at first. So I'm gonna show you the before and the after because Hooji puts this like orange tint on your pictures and it makes it look really good. Uh, I would see how the difference between these two pictures i would recommend not using it for all of your instagram pictures because number one it's going to become way too monochromatic and you want to have a variety in your instagram pictures so definitely only use Fuji for a few of your posts not all of them and my final app is uh lightroom lightroom is really really good as well you kind of have to like work with these a little bit because uh, there's like a lot, like this is a little bit more advanced than VSCO, but uh, you have the same things, you know, you have presets, you have coloring, you have all the same things here, but I think VSCO is a really great beginner app, and Lightroom is a little bit more advanced, but the same things you're getting in both apps. Uh, last one, captions. Captions are super important. Again, they're not probably going to make a make, probably not going to like make or break the like or not. Like, I don't think people are going to be like, oh, your caption sucks, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But I do think that captions really do. Um, add a lot to your picture. I think that like rhyming, rhyming captions are really, really good. People love catchy catchphrases. Uh, they're really good. I recommend rhyming. Uh, putting a few emojis, not a ton, but a few emojis in your Instagram. Do not use hashtags. Hashtags, ah, no, no hashtags. That's so, no, old. that's not cool. Do not use hashtags. I have been using self timer for a really long time and I wanted to give you my advice because I think that I take pretty good Instagram pictures by myself. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. I know it's a little bit different from what I normally do, but I do think that this is something that can help a lot of people with making more like creative Instagram pictures without having someone take your picture. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because it helps me out a lot. And I will see you next week. I love you. Deuces, deuces.